so is Edinburgh, it's Fringe, and it's the last weekend of the Fringe. Now, if you want to spend a moment to get out of the Fringe crowd, you could go over to a building just a, a block or two in that direction. This is the National Museum of Scotland, and it is full of stuff. And on display here is one of my favorite things. Dirty birds. <laughs> yeah, not the dirty birds. Enigma machine, four rotors, which means it was part of the Navy um, uh, secure um, uh, communication thing. Lots and lots of old computers, a bit like my study at home. <laughs> no, really, I have a problem. Actually, <laughs> I gotta try a thing first. Yeah, not smart, but this way. Actually, there it is there. Here it is. Dolly the sheep. Arguably the most famous sheep in the entire world. Arguably. And of course, at this point, everybody goes, ah yeah, Dolly the sheep. This is the first animal ever cloned. Which scientists would then go, eh? So then people say, okay, um, not the first animal cloned, so the first mammal cloned. And scientists would say, yeah. And so then people say, okay, so not the first mammal cloned, what about the first mammal cloned? using adult cells and at that point scientists will go yeah close enough. Dolly the sheep is actually a, a really important step but it's more sort of less about Dolly being a clone and more about Dolly being a process and the actual process is quite interesting. Let's find a flat space. Quick crash course in genetics. All life, with exceptions, all life is made up of cells. So if we were to take one of my cells, say if we got a hair cell or a, a skin cell, it would look a little like this, an outside boundary. We call this a cell wall. On the inside of that, there's uh, things that give it power, there's uh, stuff that makes other stuff. I, I guess you could call it the, the, the bits that make the cell work. The most important bit of all of this, something called the nucleus. And it's inside the nucleus that you would find the chromosomes of that particular animal. They are actually DNA. It's, well, sort of. If you want to find DNA in your body, you go looking for a cell. And as long as that cell has a nucleus, you can find the DNA inside it. The first step was that they needed to get some cells from the sheep that they wanted to clone. Uh, what the researchers did was that they got uh, the, the udder of a, another sheep, the udder of another. Now, importantly, uh, the cells that they got it from was from a white-faced sheep. These adult cells from the udder, and they get themselves a second sheep. To actually see if the whole process works, they made sure that this ship was a blackface ship. Genetically different to the whiteface ship. So they get an ovum from this ship. Now this ovum has already got genetic material in it. They then remove that stuff and then they take these cells and put it inside this ovum. And so now we have an egg that's ready to go. They get another sheep. And they implant 
this egg into this sheep's uterus. And away we go. Except they don't do it once. They do it 277 times. Of that 277 times, it works once. So that was the basic theory of it, and uh, that was what the researchers were able to achieve. They uh, announced in 1997 that they had successfully cloned a sheep using the DNA from an adult, uh, from another adult sheep. I, I remember when this announcement was made, the media was sort of like, Dolly the clone! And also, the media was like, Dolly the clone. It's because the word clone is is so loaded. So there were talks about where could this technology go? Could we end up breeding copies of ourselves for spare parts? Uh, maybe a dictator could go and uh, copy themselves and come back in the future. Uh, it's interesting to look back at it. That, 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 that's now over 20 years ago. And in that time, uh, clones of other mammals have been made. Um, and yet, this particular technique is hit and miss. Dolly was the moment in our genetic research history that was a big milestone for, uh, not just for, for science and research, but more importantly, how we think about that science and research. One last thing, um, which is the name of Dolly. Dolly the sheep was named for Dolly Parton by one of the researchers. Uh, the reason given was that uh, Dolly was cloned from a mammary cell and that Dolly Parton is well known. Hey guys, just guys in research, do better. <laughs>